Rockies taking out the Giants on Dante Bichette bobblehead day, and I still think Dante could belt a few out of Coors Field these days, don't you? Pick it up in the bottom of the first. Barry Zito with the start for San Francisco, facing Carlos Gonzalez with a man at third, and Cargo gets the rocks on the board. RBI single, it is 1-0. Top two, it is Juan Nicasio facing Guillermo Quiros as he grounds this one to short, and check out this near train wreck as Troy Tulewiski retires Quiros. Watch it again. Gregor Blanco leaps to avoid the ball. Tulewiski gloves it with DJ LeMayhew in close quarters. That takes us bottom five. Cargo back at the plate facing Zito. And Cargo lines his ball toward right center field, and it's going to touch down off the wall. Dexter around third gets a Stu Cole green light. Throw to the plate is not in time. Cargo makes it 2 0. But the Rockies not done there. Two batters later, it's Gonzalez now with second for Jordan Pacheco as he comes through with an RBI single. It scores Gonzalez, and the Rockies have a 3 0 lead. That takes his top six. Nicasio facing Brandon Belt, second and third, two men away. Belt with the swing and a miss, and the throw to first to complete the K. Nicasio, outstanding Sunday, six innings of shutout ball with five Ks. We go bottom six, it is to Lewinsky at the plate, bases loaded, two men away, facing Jose Mahares. And a base hit, Tulo comes through again. That'll score two, five nothing Colorado. And that would be your final on Sunday as the Rockies take three of four from the defending champs. It is Colorado's first series triumph over the Giants since 2011. They also defeat Barry Zito for the first time in the lefties' last 13 starts against them. Angel Pagan left this game in the fifth due to flu-like symptoms, and he was replaced by Andres Torres.